Hey guys, how's it going? Um, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well lately, especially with all this pandemic around. Um, just a quick little update. I thought I'd do a little update video on the EF as I haven't actually done a video for a while because mainly I've been forgetting. So as I have done a few little things, I've started filming and then I forgot to film halfway through and it just made no sense. So I'm just gonna give you a bit of a walkthrough as well. And just wanna say, Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I noticed a couple of weeks ago, but I've been meaning to make a video about it, but this is gonna be that one. So thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me that you guys are tuning in and enjoying learning how to do this and enjoying watching what I'm doing to the beast. So, let's so get as it. you can see here, we got the beast yesterday. I got some new tires for it. Because the other ones are bald. Finally got matching tires, so I never used to have that. Um, the other week, I went and bought the front lip for the body kit. It's there. It has got a little bit of a gap in it, because my bumper's a bit bent in from when somebody, the previous owner, hit it. So, it's a little, it's annoying me a little bit, but I'm going to respray the whole front one, one day, and then, yeah, work out how to get that to sit in nicely. But yeah, so, <laughs> moving on. Um... Got some new stickers, Bayside Car Club. That's a glow-in-the-dark sticker, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, um, yesterday I actually attached the brand new plates for it. EFX 96, instead of my other ones that I had. The other ones are going on my new car, which is this. So I got myself an FG XR6 Falcon. It is an automatic, which is a little bit disappointing, but it wasn't too bad of a price. Paid about six grand for it, so I've done some little upgrades to that. So I will be putting that in some videos on this channel as well. I know this, this video is mainly for the EF, but no harm doing a couple of videos on that as well. So I've also put my extractors in that I planned on getting. So I'll just open up the bonnet for you. Yeah, there's the extractors in there. Also with the high flow cat down the bottom there. Um, have got a bit of an exhaust leak because I ran into a bit of an issue um, with the gasket. So the exhaust gasket that I bought for it didn't actually fit, even though it said it was suit EF Falcons. So I've got another one on its way. So I will be doing a video of how you guys can pull off your main headers and then replace the gasket. And it's also the same if you're putting on the new headers, yeah, special pattern for bolts you gotta undo like to tighten it back up otherwise it doesn't line up properly which is really stupid but it's just the way it is i'm also going to be getting some new bolts because i couldn't quite get this bottom one back in and i didn't want to crack the head or anything if i put it too tightly in there or anything so yeah that's that so i'll give it a start up for you just so you can hear what it sounds like much much crisper sounds much much better so yeah once I get that gasket in to fix that exhaust leak and then maybe a bit more power than what I was feeling because extractors are supposed to give you a little bit more power than what you're getting so yeah a few other little things that I plan on getting is I'm gonna get an air fuel ratio gauge just to put up here above this one just so I know how which is running and stuff because if you look at my driveway right near the exhaust it definitely looks like it's running a bit too rich <laughs> so it would be really handy to have that because then I can work out what how rich I'm actually running and because this thing is absolutely terrible on fuel um, it'll be really handy to have to maybe work out how much I can change to get it back to a nice even ratio but yeah while I'm at it I think you guys deserve to have a bit of a look at the FG. Um, I will be getting my JRB number plates put on it that were on this one because I actually bought that one off my mum, so it still has my mum's number plates on it. So soon that will be getting within the next week or so that will be getting my JRB plates on it, and then yeah, it'll look much better. 
But yeah, let's head over to the FG now and I'll give you a bit of a tour right, guys, of that we one. We are in the FG now. Um, so just a couple of little mods that I've done. I haven't done too much to this car since I've only just bought it and I'm still paying it off. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you a The first tour. thing I've done is I've done the gauge pod and the gauges just because I think it makes it look way cooler. Like, I, I know a lot of people think, oh, there's really no point for gauges, it's not even an XL6 Turbo. Well, honestly, I like the design of it much, much better. It just makes it look much sleeker and much cooler. And it personalizes it as well, which is really good. But yeah, I haven't done too much else to the interior of it. I've just done that. I've got a um, reverse camera mirror. So I've got like a reverse camera pop-up in there. Um, other than that, interior-wise, I haven't really done much. Interior-wise, I've put the new base side banner on just to make it look cool. And I've also got a roof spoiler for it, which I think makes it look so much better as well. But yeah, it's got some pretty nice wheels on it. Um, these are the Project D uh, Lenzos, I think. I think that's what they're called. Um, but yeah, it's got the other Bayside banner on the front. Yeah, other than that, it hasn't got too much done to it. It's got a two-inch X-Force exhaust on it, so it's not quite as loud as the EF, but yeah, it's coming along nicely. But yeah, I'm also going to get the halos for the headlights on this soon as well. But yeah, that's about everything for this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to be trying to make more videos soon on both the cars. Um, and also getting started on the engine because I haven't started the VCT yet because it's just a matter of making room on the bench and then finding the time to pull it apart. So, yeah, again, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It really means a lot. Let's try and get up to 200 and keep going because um, I really enjoy making these videos for you as well and it's, I'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying them too. So, yeah, anyways, um, take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.